This is Getting Real with Hillary, and this is an attempt to create freedom. So one of the things that happened yesterday was that somebody very close to me, they were, I knew they were mad at me, so I let them speak and say whatever they wanted to say to get free. And I just said, thank you, which is what I've been taught. The problem was, they, so what, so there's something I've kind of not created, but that I've called saying what can't be said, okay, where you can say anything. And so this person <laughs> was saying whatever they, whatever they needed to say. But what I've learned is that when you say you, so if I say, well, you're this way, or you're a bitch, or you're this, or you're that, that can get the other person defensive. If you say, I, I feel this way when something happens or whatever, you're talking about yourself and no one needs to get defensive. So this person was saying you, you, you about me and all the terrible things that I've done and I'm a bad vibe and, and all sorts of stuff. And I, I tried to just listen, but truth be told, it really pissed me off. And I, now I know if someone's making you wrong, so she was making me wrong. Um, there's nothing you can do right. When someone is mad and you're wrong, there's just nothing you can do. So she brought up everything I had ever done. And, you know, it was hard to listen. I have to tell you the truth. It was hard to listen. So the rest of the day, um, I was mad. I wanted to get her back. I wanted her punished. And I was telling someone and they're like, that's terrible. It's like, I know, but that's how I felt. So I got... I got into bed last night and I was like, I, I just was mad, you know? And I was like, no, I told them they could say anything. So what the heck was, was wrong with me? Well, I've been doing this other work where the, what they're saying is don't resist your feelings. Now that's not easy. Um, I was mad, but if I, I couldn't look underneath it, okay, until this morning. And I, I started reading the Radical Acceptance. I started doing anything I could to try to get some relief from this, but I was pissed. I was mad. But, you know, I really didn't allow myself to be mad. I thought I should have, that this is the problem. I thought I should have just been able to hear it and been gracious, but I, I wasn't. I was pissed. And what I saw when I was looking this morning trying to do meditations. I think I did eight meditations. I tried whatever I could to stop being so mad um, and to stop making that person wrong. What I saw was, what, the, what they say is look underneath it. Like what's underneath the anger? So what was underneath it was that if I make a mistake, people will leave. Now, there's weird stuff. I did this Astro astrological, uh, what was it called? Um, I can't remember the name, but it was a whole ast astrology thing about past lives and everything. And what it says is when you have those feelings, it's from another life. Okay, sounds crazy, but in, in my other life, what I keep seeing in my head, and I know this is nuts, and if you don't believe it, I got it. It's weird. That in a life, I was treated poorly. I was really left to die. I had made a mistake. I was left to die. And I remember I have this image in my head of me begging this guy, like with a black cape, leaving me to die. And he was like, no, you're bad, you're wrong. And, and I was left to die. And so that's always there. It's like this terror, <gasps> like, don't leave, I'm gonna die. And I've held on to people that I shouldn't have. And it's really like this thing. So I've been trying to release it. I know, it sounds weird. If you don't believe it, I get it. I don't know if it's true either, but I'm going with it because I'm ready for some healing. So in the moment this morning, I was realizing I'm afraid to make a mistake because I'll be left to die. So I've always wanted to change people's minds. Like, no, I'm not so bad. No, I didn't really do it. No, I didn't mean it. Trying to be good. That's where getting real came from. Trying to be good. Trying to be, you know, someone I'm not, you know, that never makes a mistake, that's always good, that'll do anything for you and never selfish, you know, all sorts of shit. Totally unrealistic, hard to live up to. And 
that's what I saw this morning was I'm terrified to make a mistake that someone will leave. And it's not very freeing at all. So that's what there is to say to this person. That I'm not perfect and I'm gonna make mistakes and I love you and I hope we can work it out. I didn't mean anything by what I did. Just, just a comment, I'm not even about them. So that's it, I feel peace. Oh, thank you. Thank you for listening. Getting Real with Hillary. Subscribe to my newsletter. I got my show, the Getting Real with Hillary show. Very cool. Some really cool upcoming episodes. So tune in. Oh, I'm also looking for sponsors. If you think of someone, someone, you know, who works with people who are stuck or trying to get healthier and you have any suggestions, put them in the comments or chat me up. I'd love to hear them. I'm kind of at, kind of at a blank about this, but that's my project is to find sponsors for my show. So thank you again. Love you. Talk to you soon.